So, this is the Latino. And the black guy. Trust me, soy Latino, even though I look white. It's and I'm really black, in case you couldn't tell. <laughs> Just not to confuse the confusion. I'm half Honduran and half Cuban. It's the European mix, you know. But anyways, uh, we're here. It's McDonald's. 2.13 in the goddamn morning. We're waiting on our food. And this is our first episode in the Chronicles of the Latino and the Black Guy. I'm the Black Guy. So I was getting ready <laughs> to tell the Black Guy my story of why I came here. It's a horrible, embarrassing story, but it's happened to us all at some point. So this was like two summers ago, and I had gone charging through the woods with a few of my friends trying to find a shortcut to Chipotle and unfortunately my shortcut turned out to be a long cut and then we ran to a dead end because we ran into some like really thick trees and bushes that we couldn't cut through so we ended up having to go a long way and halfway through this trek through the woods I lost my glasses because I decided to put them in my pocket in my like dress shirt pocket and I had jumped through a couple of trees like a badass you know thinking you know it was freaking Connor at the time and my glasses fell out of my pocket so two days later I went back in search of them never found them and I had to take like the meanest dump in the world this guy I couldn't hold it. like I could not like it was like it was bad I could not this hold guy. It. so I went in the woods so I was like screw it I was like the animals do it the caveman did it I was like our ancestors used to do it I was like in the Mayans and the freaking Indians still freaking do it so I was like why not I was like I will just take my dump in the woods worst mistake <laughs> ever ever because I did not have nothing to wipe with and I was thinking, dude, I could just wipe. No, no. no but the thought hit me though. I could just wipe my ass with a leaf. And I started reaching out for him. And I was like, nah. I was like, screw that. And I was like, what if? I was like, it's poison ivy or poison oak. I was like, I ain't gonna have an itchy ass for like two weeks. I was like, screw that. I was like, I ain't not having that. So I just, you know, pulled up my pants and stuff, and I just walked away. Two blocks, my ass starts burning. I mean, burning like a bat out of hell. Like I just ate some really nasty hot sauce. And I could not, for the lo for the love of God, I could not understand why it freaking hurt so much. So I freaking walked like a mile, got to this McDonald's, went to the bathroom just to wipe my ass and walked out. And it still hurt like a mug for like two days straight. Because I had like, I guess I developed a nasty rash on my ass. And it hurt like hell. <laughs> but that is the story of how I was at this McDonald's. So the last time I was here was freaking like 15 years ago when they still had Ronald McDonald. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but that, that's the embarrassing story of that one. And now I got this man laughing his ass off. <laughs> this fucking guy. <laughs> We'll give a shout out to Nigga Higa, to Buskis, Ray William Johnson, Kev Jumba, big fan, huge fan. If you guys, you know, watch this, I'd be completely blown away. This guy. <laughs> Man, trust me, I, I got a million more stories like that. Oh, freaking. Just horrible, embarrassing, funny, and epic stories. So what do you think, Black Eye? Should we uh, end the episode with this, or should we continue on? <laughs> I mean, it's up to you, man. I mean, you, yeah, you got you to say something now. You got to be part of the story at this point. So I'm the Black Guy, as we were formally introduced. Hi, nice to see you again. Um, oh, do I have any stories like that? Uh, oh, man. I can't think of any where I got a rash on my ass. <laughs> screw you, man. Just screw you, alright? Um, you wait one day, it'll hit you, and then I'll have the last laugh. <laughs> but having you first. <laughs> uh, hmm. This man. See, this guy. This guy. He, he, he just doesn't he just, he just not get life. Trust me, one day life is going to screw him over so bad. 
and I'll be there to pick up the pieces. That's just how it works. Que nada, este no sabe que nada ni nada sabe este cabrón. Anyways, I'm sorry for interrupting. He just spoke in some language that no one on this planet knows. Como que nadie knows? This like guy. I said. Like I, I said. Ta loco this guy. Ta loco. Like I said. Like I said. So yeah. Our food isn't ready. But yeah, we just got off of work from Hooters. Yes. <laughs> we get to look at boobs and ass all day long. <laughs> Trust okay. me, it, it's, it's not as glamorous as you think, but it is nice. It is nice, but it's not that glamorous. It's really not. It's really not. Because the place sucks so much ass. Like, if you... It sucks more ass than an anteater. Like, it, it, it sucks. It just... Sucks more ass than an ant. That don't just, just, okay, just, just let it just, 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 let okay, it go. Okay. Just let it go. Let it okay, go. Okay. Let it go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> an ant eater was the first thing that came to my mind with a tongue or lick a tongue. Yeah, lick a tongue. Pokemon. Yeah, lick a tongue. You could have said uh, lick a tongue sucking ass would make more sense than an ant eater. To be honest, I mean lick a tongue just looks like the type of. I, I'm sorry. Continue. Continue. <laughs> this is why we can't have nice things. Who says we can't have nice things? <laughs> this is this is why we can't have nice things. I don't even. Yeah, I can't. I have no stories <laughs> right now. I can't. Nothing is coming to my head. Nothing at all. For the record, he is not high right now. <laughs> Neither am I. Just for the record. Sorry. He might seem like it, but just for the record, he is not high. <laughs> Although I occasionally partake on the uh, Mary Juana. <laughs> I feel like we're disturbing this guy over here studying, and I feel bad. Sorry, guy. A fellow black guy, by the way. <laughs> All right, man. We got like another minute left of recording time on this. Uh, Any well, last words for the audience for episode one? Live long and prosper. 2012 is coming up. If you believe in that, you know. If you don't, then oh well. Or if you do, then oh well. Either way, oh well. Still got to party hard on the 19th, just in case. Just in case. Fuck, I think we work that day. I think we do. God damn it. Oh, well. Uh, live long and prosper. May the force be with you. Uh, Asshole, I was going to say that. Asalaamu Alaikum. <laughs> <laughs> All right, food's ready. Time to eat. Peace out. Good night, y'all. Take care. So, so, uh, back in high school, oh yeah, by the way, hi, I'm the black guy. And this is the Latino. <laughs> Como esta todo el mundo? He's speaking that language again, I'm sorry, you, you don't understand I'm it. gonna hurt you, I'm gonna hurt you. <laughs> this is, um, part two of, uh, being at McDonald's at early in the morning or late at night, depending on how you see it. Uh, we're still enjoying our meals. Uh, the black guy uh, thought of a story that he wanted to tell you guys, so here we are re-recording for your pleasure. And again, I am the black guy, in case you mistake me for the guy that's not there. But yeah. Yes, <clears throat> clearly Hollow Man is hogging up the spotlight. Can you, do you see Hollow Man? I mean, I don't see Hollow Man. I've never seen Hollow Man. Can you, he might be here. He might be here. Okay? I'm just saying. All right? I'm, he I'm might just, be here. Okay? All right. That, that's, all right. That's, why I'm the, that's why I'm the superhero of the group, of uh, the team. I'm the villain. The duo. I'm, I'm definitely the bad guy. But yeah, my story. This took place, this took place in high school, actually. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Where was I? I don't even know. I don't remember what year it was. It had to be before we met. It had to be. You'll hear that story of how we met in later episodes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I still had my, my dreads, you know, but they were shorter, like a lot shorter. And I had braces at the time. I went to, no, they had a fair at the high school we went to. And they really had a fair in Wheaton High School? Yes, they had a fair. No like, way. They had all these, all these things, all these like different organizations and groups came to the school. Then you uh, signed up for them and. Wait, 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 wait. By the way, we live in Silver Spring, Maryland, technically Wheaton, uh -oh. Maryland, which is just a town inside of the Silver Spring area. Ghetto as hell, trust me. 
Anyways. Home sweet home. <laughs> home sweet home. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, it was like, I guess we call it a job fair, I guess. But yeah. That's, that's slightly more believable. Yeah, it was like in the gymnasium at the school. I believe it. <laughs> while they were while they were there, there was this a TV audition thing. I didn't know it was for Disney at the time. I didn't know if it was if I knew it was for Disney, I probably still would have done it. But I don't think I would have been as serious for it because I I hate Disney. I don't like them like with a passion. Like if you could understand the hate in my heart I had for them. Superhero Squad. That's all you need to know. The Hulk does not smile, okay? Maybe he's getting laid behind the scenes Demi and you don't know it. Huh? Demi <laughs> <laughs> so continue the story. So, um... That was... That was damn near a smile. <laughs> <laughs> it was. <laughs> the word, by the way, is godly. Doesn't anybody read the old... The old comic, they, they can't be demigods because... Do you mind if we record you, by the way? <clears throat> yes. Uh, I don't... Uh, no, I do not mind. <clears throat> The, uh, oh, oh, oh you're, um, you're sorry, your name? It's our guest star of the week, by the way. <laughs> our random guest star of the week. Jonathan Goldstein has a name. He, uh, he, uh, he. Jonathan Goldstein, ladies yes. and gentlemen, of YouTube. <laughs> well, oh, YouTube! <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, the Hulk in, uh, in the first Avengers movie, which I happened to see, um, uh, there was this marvelous scene, and I don't want this to be a spoiler for a large number of people, but uh, 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 they said the Hulk does not smile, and so of course I um, uh, peeped out of the woodwork with <laughs> Demigod. That is true. Which, um, he did. He that like is a true. Smirk. Yeah, that, that was He's got you damn well a smirk. It However, was, technically speaking, yeah, but, but of course the word is godly. Uh, Loki, like Thor, um, is not a demigod. A demigod is is someone who, who is half a god because their uh, one parent is a god and the other parent is is a mortal. And uh, um, uh, un until they they unfold fully the potentiality of godhood that comes from having one parent who's a Kryptonian, <laughs> and you know they go through life as demigods. Uh, and uh, uh, so a anyway. Uh, what they were is godlings. In other words, they were they were junior gods. They're um, uh, 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 under the uh, parentage, more or less, of the head of the gods, who is uh, the god. And um, then there are all these godlings. They're uh, uh, they're the uh, um, princes and dukes of the. Um, not hazard. Um, <laughs> of, um, of the pantheon. <laughs> oh, man. This guy is awesome. This guy. This guy. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Goldstein. <laughs> and uh, by the way, if you'd like more information on the subjects of, of gods and how to become one, try <laughs> www.paradisians.org. P-A-R-A-D-I-S-I-A-N-S dot O-R-G. Now, uh, if you do Paradisians, this has to be exact, if you do Paradisians dot com, uh, you get Jillian Michaels' site. She said, Jillian, come lately, because uh, the Paradisians.org site was there more than eight years before she made it big and biggest loser and got her cutesy face. It is a cutesy face. On almost half I love the, this guy already. Yeah, uh, on uh, almost half the cheap exercise equipment in Walmart. <laughs> and if you do Paradisians, um, uh, if you do Paradisians, singular, dot org, again, you get completely different people. So it must be P A R A D I S I A N S dot O R G. And, uh, yeah, and I warn you, there are even porno sites to be found with just slight differences in the spelling. So go seek them out, but do get the authentic original. If you find a genie on the front page, you've got the right one, but don't get stuck on the front page. <laughs> Once again, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Goldstein, thank you for your time, good sir. Ah, uh, pleasure. There. There we go. <laughs> this guy's awesome. This guy's awesome. All right, Sean, we have about a minute and 24 seconds worth of recording time. Can you do your story in the amount of time? I guess, long story short. <clears throat> so, 
We went to a Disney audition and somewhere in DC and it was again it was back in high school some years ago. And I didn't know it was for Disney at the time until I got there. They had me record a commercial that of course never got aired, but yeah, they had me record a commercial for like a an audition. And for my audition, they had they had it was a toothpaste commercial. Oh, I felt it offensive because I had braces at the time. Oh boy! <laughs> I'm like, maybe are they making fun of my teeth? That's what I thought because the guy who was uh, hosting everything, he asked me when I was getting my braces off. So I'm like, oh well, sir. <laughs> I, I I was in love with my braces, but now you know my pearly whites. Yes, you have been derailed. Yeah. Yeah, but I love my teeth now. But yeah, long story short, I tried for Disney, and obviously I'm not there. <laughs> Which is why, I, one reason I do not like them right now. <laughs> that he did. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are out of time.